What is this noise all about? It's about the Benis and Yorubas. What are they even arguing about? Is it even necessary? Who is wrong? Well, these are the things I am going to be talking about in this video. I discovered it's been a long time since the rivalry between Benin people of Nigeria and Yorubas have started. In fact, it is immemorable. But all these arguments centers on one thing and therefore spreads along different issues, which include the most superior king, Benin, as part of Yorubas, Yorubas originating from Benin, and so on. This is so because Yorubas and Benin shared a very long history together and thereby add some cultural mixtures that even if you have no knowledge of Benin or Yoruba history, a small relations with people of both tribes will make you have no doubt that both Benin and Yoruba are historically related. Talking about the languages, the gods they worship and traditions. For example, a note from All State Secondary School claim that the Oba of Benin was among those who got a share of the disposable personal effects of a dead or near of Ife, and also the severed head of a dead Benin monarch was carried to Ife for burial. Now I am going to be explaining the historical relationship between these kingdoms and at the same time point out their areas of disagreements. A long time ago in Benin, there was a political instability in the kingdom and there is a need for a king. So the elders had to send emissaries to Ife to ask Odudua to come and become their king. By this time, Odudua was too old to travel. So he sent Oromi Yoju, his grandson, to go and rule Benin. Oromi became the first king of the dynasty that rules Benin till today. The present Oba of Benin agrees to this claim by claiming to be the son of Oromiyo, and so is the Ife crown. But Benins also believe the ancestors had requested for a king from Ife because Odudua was a self excited prince of Benin. This is the pivot of all the disagreements because Yoruba has believed that this is 1000% incorrect. Now that we have known the brief history of these two kingdoms, let's treat the topics I mentioned earlier. In February 2016, the Union of Ife said Benin Kingdom in Edo State remained part of the expansive Yoruba race in a response to a statement made by Benin chief who had told Alake that they had nothing to do with the Yorubas. Alake had earlier ranked Yoruba Obas saying Oni of Ife was the first in rank, while Oba of Benin is the third. There are also some unofficial claims from few Benins that this is the other way around, that is Oba of Benin is superior to Oni of Ife, and that also Yoruba had emerged from Benin. This claim is taken from history, their version of the history, and the idea goes like, if Odudua was a prince from Benin, and Odudua is believed to be the father of all Yorubas. Then, Yorubas are Benis. And also, since Odudua's main home and throne is in Benin, according to their belief, then the home throne is superior to the one he established outside. You see, when I examine the claim that Odudua was a self exiled prince from Benin, and the claim that he is not, I have two questions to put to both parties. And that is that, why did Benin requested for Odudua to come and be their king if he was not from the Benin royals? But if Odudua was from Benin royals, why does the recognition of Ojiso dynasty cease and a new dynasty was recognized under Oromiyon, who is the son of Odudua? So you see, this is a complicated matter that only the ancestors can have a satisfactory answer to. On the issues that Benin is part of Yoruba or Yoruba originated from Benin, these are just claims that people will make when they want to boast of their ego and ignore histories of both societies. Kemet and Kush has cultural similarities as well, 
and everyone sees them as separate kingdoms. Benin existed long before Dudua, and that Odudua sent someone from his lineage to reign in Benin doesn't mean it's now a new kingdom. On the other hand, people lived in Yoruba land and had kings before Odudua unite them and become a Yoruba king.